Okay, today I want to talk about the defined pseudo class. Now, this is something that's uh, it's one of the newer pseudo classes that was added into CSS. Uh, this one has to do with whether or not your content is actual HTML elements if the elements are recognized by the browser. So I have here a sample web page with a header, there's an h1 inside of it, a main element, h2, paragraph, div. And down at the bottom here, I've got a couple tags that I've created myself. So there's my tag and another tag. Now these are just completely invented. I just created them, wrote them inside of there. Now I can do this without really causing much of an error, but the browser is going to look at those and say, I have no idea what they are, so I'm going to just treat them like spans. Inside of here, we've got an actual element in the second one. I have a real span inside of there. And just to demonstrate how this works, I've got a form element, but I've written it with uppercase. Now, HTML is case insensitive. The convention is to write everything in lowercase, but using uppercase is fine as well. So just taking a look at the browser here. Here we have our page. There's all the elements. And you can see there's the my tag. And here is another tag. So they are sitting beside each other, side by side. Uh, they're display inline by default when you invent your own things, unless you go into the CSS and change it. So what I want to do is I want to use this pseudo class to target the things that I have and haven't um, met the HTML5 standard with. So we'll come up here into our CSS. And we've got defined. And if you want to find the opposite, you can say with not defined. There we go. So the ones that do exist, that's header, h1, main, all these ones really do exist. They are part of the HTML5 standard, or at least we've the browser knows what to do with them. I'm just going to give them an outline, one pixel solid, let's say crimson, make them stand out. So we'll save that. There we are. So we have around the body, we've got a tag around the header. We've got one. We've got one around the h2. There's the paragraph. Here's the div. And now it looks like there's one here, but really this is the form. And this one's the div. And then the main is wrapping all around these. And there's the one around the span. There isn't one here around these. If we were to add a margin, we can see this a little bit more clearly. There we go. So there's the div, the paragraph, the heading, here's the main element, and you can see there's no outline around my tag or another tag, and they are still sitting side by side. If we go into the not defined, here's where we're going to be talking about these ones that we created. So let's make them display block. And we'll give them a background color and a color. Let's go with uh, cornflower blue and our text will make it white. There we are. So we have now defined the styles for tags that haven't been recognized yet by the browser. So that's web components. We can actually create them with JavaScript and I will do another video on that in the future. But for now, I just wanted to illustrate what you could do with the defined property. It's a great way to uh, locate elements if you are working with web components and creating your own tags. This is a great way to identify things that haven't been picked up by the browser yet. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.